what is up my crazy subscriber this is joe king john city and hopefully you guys are having a crazy day today today we're going to be talking about call of duty 2017 you know what can we expect from this game what kind of modes what kind of details will this game have you know because the last game the sledgehammer games made was call of duty advanced warfare you know it's a futuristic game but uh many people on twitter and many some other youtubers out there on twitter have confirmed that the game will be boots on the ground you know like old school style and Will it actually happen? Because, I don't know, man. There's, there's, there's always rumors before the release of a trailer for the next Call of Duty game. And that's one of them. You know, the boots on the ground thing. Like, is it true or not? I'm hoping it kind of is. Because, you know, Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 1 were, like, my, my roots of the Call of Duty game and the Call of Duty franchise. I did super good in those two games. Especially in Black Ops 1. It was just my prime time during that time. And I haven't even played Call of Duty before that. So it was, it's a long story, to be honest, on how I actually started playing Call of Duty. Because, you know, I had no experience before Black Ops 1. But out of nowhere, I ended up being ranked in the top of the world. So... Uh, it's quite an amazing moment back in Black Ops 1. So this year, going back into Call of Duty 2017 and going back to boots in the ground, like that's going to be an amazing experience, especially in the next gen. I didn't even play Call of Duty Ghost on next gen, which is PS4. So it's going to be my first time boots on the ground on PS4. And that's going to be quite of a challenge too, because, you know, people that camp a lot are going to abuse the system because you know we cannot jump all over the goddamn place we cannot wall run so this gonna it's gonna be quite difficult to avoid those quick scorpers and campers half of the time so it's gonna be a big challenge but i'm up for it to be honest hopefully there's spy planes though hopefully they don't make that stupid uav box that we had in call of duty ghost so one of the things that i really expect from call of duty 2017 to come back if you guys remember call of duty events warfare it was made by sledgehammer games they had a uh, character customization it allows you to customize your head your clothes your t-shirt your pants your gloves your boots what else your exosuit like that customization mode was just beyond belief like i don't think there has ever been other games like that from the call of duty franchise that allowed you to customize the first one was call of duty ghost but it only customized your uh, your suit it wasn't that big of a deal in Call of Duty Ghost, to be honest. It, it made you bigger, or it, you can put on the ghillie suit, and that's it. Like It was just not that big of a deal. And then Advanced Warfare just went beyond that. So, um, hopefully that mode comes back, and hopefully they don't charge us for anything of that, because it's supposed to be free. They might limit us on the customization. That might happen, because, you know, Activision is pretty much a money whore. And then, um, besides that character customization, the Killstreak customization... If you guys remember in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, there was killstreak customization. Pretty much made your spy plane look like a damn advanced UAV or your counter UAV looking like a damn EMP. That you can customize it to make it even higher than, than what it is, you know. And uh, that's a good thing. You know, that, that was one thing that I really enjoyed from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, customizing my own killstreaks. It's just that I never admitted it in my, one of my videos, like none. I never said that Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was good in this or Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was good in that. Like, I always went towards the negative part in Advanced Warfare. I think I should have given the game a chance and kind of expressed myself on what was the positive things about Advanced Warfare because I never mentioned any kind of, kind of, kind of customization. So that's one of the things that I really enjoy about the game. The ki kill streak customization, it was pretty much awesome. And another thing that it hopefully, you know, Call of Duty 2017 has is good graphics because I don't want no Call of Duty Ghost debacle where it looks like a freaking paper cutout. And then also Black Ops 3, the explosions look like goddamn fireworks. So hopefully the graphics look smooth as fuck, look kind of more realistic, you know, kind of have badass graphics like Resident Evil 7 or kind of like, uh, you know, Metal Gear-ish kind of style. So if the graphics could improve that would be great because i don't want no paper cut out i don't want no no freaking copy and paste you know backgrounds like i want it to be a little bit more detailed and that would be nice to play on i will enjoy my multiplayer a little bit more better especially boots on the ground so i will be like seeing buses or whatever year is going to be taken you know this game's going to be taken and that will be a good thing to have so that's all i wanted to talk about call of duty 2017 guys what do you guys expect from this game do you guys expect it to be a little bit boring like call of duty ghosts you know with fucking campus all over the goddamn place or you guys want it to be all badass you know want it to be like freaking you know boots in the ground first person shooter like fucking you know old school style modern warfare 2 style like that that's gonna be a great image right there for the Call of Duty franchise so that this could probably be the savior of the Call of Duty franchise to be honest call of duty 2017 
whatever title it's gonna be. Supposedly it's gonna be People's Game or something like bullshit like that. Like it's not, man. They always give it a cold name before they release the actual name. So that is it, guys. Make sure you subscribe for more. You guys want to hear more Call of Duty news and more Call of Duty details on 2017.